Well, hello everyone. Greg Scott Bailey here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome now to Bows, Blades, and Bombs. So this is the second iteration of me doing this uh, somewhat challenge. Uh, the Bows and Blades series was an Alpha 19. Uh, I decided to use bombs in that one, but uh, I didn't put in the title or the name. We're going to go ahead and test the YouTube algorithm and see what happens. We'll go ahead and go forward with this. Um, for those wondering, hey, where is the grind to Alpha 21? I went ahead and I canceled that series. Uh, I got through most of the next episode of it. I recorded it. I was just about done editing it and I, I kind of sat there and I thought you know we're we're two months delayed and the, the the steam to do it has just been lost so I went ahead and I uh, decided to go ahead and discontinue it we're gonna start a new bows and blades series and we're gonna go from here uh, so let me go ahead and get the starter quest out of the way it looks like we have a trader hue for our trader uh, and we'll go forward and I'll let you guys know what we're gonna be doing with this series Okay, quick little pause here. I got the uh, first couple things done. Um, I went ahead and I <laughs> made the hat, the gloves, the boots. You, know, you don't have to anymore. It used to be part of the starting quest, but I went ahead and I made that. Uh, anyways, uh, we craft a wood club, but again, we're using bows, blades, and bombs. So we have to scrap it. All right, moving right along. All right, there was an insane amount of, well, okay, four bird's nests, like right here. So uh, let's get some stone. And in the meantime, we can make our primitive bow and our stone arrow. We are going to upgrade those as soon as possible. Oh my goodness, there's another bird's nest here. This this is still in that same starting area. This is like bird's nest paradise. And now I'm just like ruining the homes of every poor little birdie that's in, in the area trying to just survive. Okay, now the game is just, like, messing with me. Gotta be. <laughs> I swear these were not here before. <laughs> Alright, so the one, one of the things I just like to do is I like to get a lot of stone, a lot of wood right away. I mean, this isn't a lot in the grand scheme of things, but, you know, it's, it's enough to kind of start some things out. Uh, but uh, that's the way I roll, and that's the way we're going to keep doing it. Uh, so we got to make the frame, upgrade the frame, and as per usual, we got to put a campfire on top of that frame. So, boop. Gosh, where could our nearest trader be? <laughs> 90 meters away. All right, what else can we get? Uh, we're going to look for a gore block pile on the road as well. We want to get some bones right away. Uh, so we could start uh, making a knife. Um, being that we have the points to spend now, um, we should probably... Oh, sorry, it's under agility. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, viewers. I took a half a second to actually go to the thing I wanted to go to. We're going to rock and roll right away with points into agility level 3. I mean, everything is, is just going to go right into that. Uh, because we want to, in bows and blades, be as adept as possible. I'm going to move drop our current bow. I'm going to move our current bow into action. Um, no, 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 no. We, we, we got to go ahead and make another one because it's going to be level two. Yep. There we go. And boop. And boop. Cool. Uh, gore block over here. Yes. Yeah. So there we go. Five bones. And so bone knife also level two. Okay, so here's what we're gonna try to do. We're, oh yeah, we get rid of that note. We're gonna try to make that our primary stuff there. Our tools there, we'll move this along here. Moving right along. So we get everything away from the action. Yeah, it's the first two. <laughs> so we don't accidentally uh, use something for a weapon. Uh, we get reacclimated. Okay, let's see what the trader's got for us. Okay, it looks like Zombie Bow is going to be our first victim here. We'll go ahead and try him out after. Oh, look at that. Pickaxe already, a shovel. Holy cow. Now, settings are on standard loot. I was going to do a higher percentage of loot. Oh, you know, we should probably make some more arrows. Um, Gosh, I just I don't think we need to make that many right away. We might be able to get... We might be able to do what we can to get to um, iron arrows as soon as possible. We'll check to see what... Uh, trader hue has oh my goodness we we gotta just reacclimate here and uh, he, God, he's gonna see us before we hit him there we go 
All right, so we got some knockdown on that first shot. Oh, oh, oh. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, I had a little bit of a... I had my uh, Jurassic World Cup in the way of where the XP was on my screen. Okay, now the game really is messing with me. What the heck? Bird's nest sideways in a ditch. Good golly. All right, and we'll check out the uh, the goodies, what all he has around the fort here in a moment. Hugh! You smell of the dead. Oh, I mean, there's zombies outside you. You know, it tends to happen. Uh, 155 dukes. Don't mind if I do. We're gonna we're gonna donate one back. It's a give a penny, take a penny moment. There, we're gonna donate that back. Uh, what do you have for jobs? Let's get the closest thing possible. Household bungalow. Sounds absolutely smashing. We could try to get into a safe here. Now you can get into both of these if you just. There you go. Okay. Um, anything we're gonna want to get right away here? Can of dog food. We're gonna do learning elixirs as quick as possible in this game. Yeah, you know, we want to make make sure we're rocking and rolling there too. Uh, but before we spend our dukes, let's uh see what we can find here. Hey, some dollars we could sell. Back at the pack, some golden rod right away. We could probably uh, work on food. So I, I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do for my second focus. So we're going to be doing agility, of course, for the bows and the blades. Um, but, I mean, let's let's stop and think about this. If we are going to do um, bombs, where is that? Um, Demolitions expert. So that's under perception, which also has lucky looter, treasure hunter, salvage operations, uh, lock picking, um, penetrator perks. I don't think works with arrows, does it? Um, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't it only AP bullet, rifle bullets through, through shoot through multiple targets. That's unfortunate. Um, infiltrator. I don't think I've ever... I've never used this. Use your heightened senses to take less damage from traps. You are now a mole and can move through dangerous traps easier. Loose board traps and landmines trigger half a second slower. Take 20% less damage from landmines. How have I not looked at this one before? Okay, well, good to know. Um, but yeah, so that's that's perception. So we'll, we'll get a little bit perceptive, but uh, we're gonna want to also get advanced engineering going uh, at least by day two. Uh, so oh, no coffee. Could make me some coffee. Okay, it's got those. No player vending machines. Hey, uh, as a reminder, uh, if anybody does want to uh, um, find me on a public server to hang out with, not to pester or not, don't don't give me grief <laughs> uh but uh i am currently playing on uh the midgard server for the skynet gamers set of servers midgard is their medium level server they also have what's called uh, vikings which is their easy level server they uh, currently do not have their difficult level server going uh but then they have one called decimation for those that are into kane's uh, darkness falls and uh, so, yeah, if you guys are looking for a good public server with some quality of life mods, I am currently playing on the uh, uh, the Midgard server. Oh, we're going to take that blue die out. The Midgard server of Skynet Gamers. It's a West Coast server if you're looking for a public server here in the United States. Bookshelf here. All paper. Man, just doesn't love me. We already checked that. Yes. We know we got at least one zombie pounded on the walls outside here. It's almost noon. I want to hurry up and get, um, if possible, two jobs done on day one. Because it just it's nice to kind of just knock these out. Get yourself leveled up as soon as possible uh, with this, uh, um, you know, the fresh first week that you start playing. Cement mixer with no, no cement mixer schematic. What a shame. I mean, d d don't the rest of you guys leave cement mixer schematics inside your cement mixers at your houses? I tell you. <laughs> uh, let's see, workbench. Nope. All right. And now we do have a boar here. Um, we're going to wait to to take him on. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Co confidence has to get built up a little bit more because he hops out of that thing. He, what's it called? Garroting, uh, you know, gets us, sticks us. We're, uh, we're done for. Um, now see, we're already out of space. The final frontier. Um, let's go ahead and eat one thing of food. I know I don't need it, but yeah, that'll clear up some space. Yeah. Uh, now it's, I mean, it's a level two. Yeah. Let's combine some of the stuff. There we go. 
Okay, we can hop down here. Um, gosh, already finding steel arrowheads. Um, okay, so one thing we could do is that. We don't need the tree seeds either. It's one of the things that I do still need to continue to work on and get better at is the um, management of uh, my item inventory. Now, I'm going out here real quick because I figured there'd be a pile of trash of something out here pretty close. So we're going to check it. Yep, pipe, that's good. Um, let's just put some items away in it for now. Oh, you know what? I just realized. Bows, blades, and bombs. We could sell the bullets. We don't need that stuff. We don't need no education. We don't need no thought control. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's sell that. Let's go underneath the uh, the cellar, and then let's get this first job going. I guess you're not so bad after all. You're not so bad after all yourself. <laughs> Until you're grumpy. Um, all right, so what do we got down here? Woo, Nelly. Oh, <laughs> so in Undead Legacy mod, uh, that overhaul mod, uh, um, Subquake has a whole bunch of landmines down there. Spoilers if you haven't been there, but, uh, you know, tread lightly. <laughs> oh, let me in. There used to be a second box up here. I guess they removed that. Uh, but let's uh, head on to the job. Okay, so first job is this uh, destroyed house. What was a house bungalow or something? Uh, let's check. Yeah, that's what we want. We want to start getting these Ranger's Guide to Archery books. We want to finish these as soon as possible. Uh, so number seven, 20% chance of knocking down the target. I love it. Um, all right, let's go ahead and reset. And give me, give me, give me another one. Look at that. Give me another one. Uh, crippling shots. So volume three, shots of the leg with arrows or bolts slow your opponent. So that's, see, that's what we're wanting to rock and roll and find here. Um... All right, so as I start going through this POI, I'll go ahead and let you guys know what uh, the plans are here. So bows, blades, and bombs, once again, is basically that's, you know, it's within the name. You're using only a bow for a weapon, a blade for a weapon, and bombs for weapons. So uh, no using pistols, you know, no, um, sorry, I can't remember if there's a dog back here. No, yeah, but yeah, no, no pistols, no rifles, no rocket launchers, um, you, you know, I know it's technically a bomb attached to a missile, but, um, oh gosh, I don't know if I've been in this place before, or maybe I have, just it's been a while. But, uh, yeah, so it limits the, uh, the quick, the, the quick, fast action. Whew, I wish I could talk today. The quick, fast action of the, uh, there's a satchel. Oh, and, whoa, god damn, that hurt. <laughs> I say hurt because um, <laughs> I'm still having some sore arm problems. Uh, for those that have uh, been following me on Twitch, I've been dealing with a little bit of a tennis elbow issue. And uh, <laughs> when I wiggled the mouse, it actually jolted my elbow. Um, shame on you zombies for scaring me in a zombie apocalypse video game. But, <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Plus four goggles. I love it. I love this already. We're doing good. But yeah, so that's the weapons of choice in this uh, scenario is that we could only use um, those weapons in this. And what I'm also going to do is we're going to spend up to three Horde Knights in the forest biome is where we're going to do our, our base, our living, our main uh, set of operations. But after we are done with, was it 17, seven, <laughs> yeah, 17, 7, 14, and then 21, right? So after we're done with day 21, on day 22, we're going to move into the next stage, uh, the desert. And we're going to pick a new home there. And, oh, sledgehammer. Oh, but we do have two wheels right away. I'll take it. Uh, but yeah, so subsequently, if we uh, survive the desert for three horde nights, then we move to the winter biome. If we uh, then survive that, we finish off at the, uh, the wastelands. So this gives a chance for us to kind of mix things up a little bit. And I think, honestly, that was one of the reasons why I stopped the Grind Alpha 21. Not that I couldn't uh, already, in that series, start moving on to a another uh, biome and switch things up there. 
but um, at the same time, like I, I just I felt like once again that that series was two months out. It took too long for me to uh, to get back into it. I might as well start fresh at this point. Uh, we got a lot of new viewers on uh, Twitch that are coming over to the YouTube, and they're looking forward to starting uh, some of the things I'm doing from the beginning as I'm doing them. Uh, not just necessarily going back to the the first episode of Bose, or excuse me, the grind to Alpha Twenty One. So I'm um, happy to cater to it, uh, and I'm happy to see where we can go with things. So uh, let's keep rocking and rolling and seeing what we can do here. Okay, so we're getting rid of the uh, the plant fiber pants, and, and, and <laughs> in return, we got the tight uh, goth uh, jeans that have a uh, blue dye on it. Da-da-dee, da-da-dye. Um, so I can't take everything. What's not as critical right now? We'll, we'll have to manage some of this later. Aha! I knew it. So we'll go for those headshots. Um, I am on Nomad settings, so that's uh, one setting above default. And we'll see how that goes. The, the town that we're starting in seems pretty reasonable, so I don't think we're going to have to worry too much about... Um, the difficulty settings right now. Uh, let's go get rid of the paper in favor of cement. Uh, let's see, no one here. Now we are done with this job. We've we've lo officially looted the um, or got the satchel <laughs> looted it. But uh, I'm wanting to go ahead and finish the zombies. So maybe I come back and uh, do the rest of the loot because we got end loot here too. Um, See so if we can make a jump. Nope. <laughs> uh, we do have some frames on us though, so let's uh let's do a little bit of a, a sneaky sneak here. Get a ladder. And since we've been to this POI before, we, we know what's going on. I just never enter entered through that cellar. Poor fella. <laughs> all right. Uh, so that should be all the zombies. Uh, let's, uh, like I said, before we do the end loot, let's go ahead and go back to the trader and turn in and get another job. Oh, I didn't even see him there. His, his yellow was mixed in with the trader yellow. Something like that. All right. Let's get a bleed wound on him. And, uh oh. Watch that running. Got that helmet. Oh, see, we're bleeding already. Misjudged. Now we gotta use up our one bandage. Silly fella. Silly fella. I got you though. I win, you lose. I'm kind of well, you did. Uh, Ranger's Guide. Okay. Oh, I so did okay, huh? <laughs> Ranger's Guide Volume 5 complete. Um, okay, what else can we sell? We can't use sledgehammer, so sell that. Uh freak out. We're not going to use brass for anything else, right? So, sell what we can of that. Those damn things are selling like hotcakes. What, what, brass is? Neat. Uh, what else? Uh, we're going to keep lockpicks handy. I uh, knew you didn't have money the moment I laid eyes on you. Hush. <laughs> okay, let's get another job. Um, there's a fetch 297, so that's bungalow 10. All right. But before we do that, we're going to go back to the one house we are at. That'll be a good spot since we cleared out the zombies to just basically store some things for now. Uh, how much? We don't have much free space. Grab what we can. Can we do it? Yeah. They see him run and he's hating. And we'll get those arrows back. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so we got to get most of the stuff. Uh, yeah, we can come back for the rest if we really need it. It's not imperative. Oh, is that another <laughs> another bird's nest? All right, now I'm going to pick this side to make the storage box. We're out of space. Uh, let's, oops. Oh, okay, I'll drop that for a second. <laughs> <laughs> when, when you misclick on things. 
Um, all right, let's move everything over. And we'll restructure from there. All right, so what, what do we need? What do we want on us? I always put Dukes there. Um, put that in there. Oh, we could have sold these. And knuckle parts we're going to have to sell. Um, let's go ahead and just put the bedroll down. Just to get it out of our inventory. I do like having lock picks. Uh, repair kits usually go next to it. Uh, we made some arrows. We'll put that there. I like putting like food, the uh, beverage, and then empty jars here. Okay. And we'll put our frames in an active slot there. Uh, boiled water. I'm going to put this one here. Now, bandages. I, I did get this. I like the last slot for the uh, pain pills. So if we end up finding any of those, we're going to keep the, the wood on us, the stone, and the plant fibers in case we need to build anything. We definitely want the feathers to make more arrows. Uh, we have, Like I said, we have not found any um, iron arrowheads yet, though. Uh, and I did not check the trader, but we'll check them if we could finish this job up quick. So let's let's do this. Let's put that there. Okay, so let's go open up the uh, end loot crate here and crates and see what we can get out of it. Okay, so look at that. We already got a level three um, um, knife out of it. I love it. Some bolts. Uh, now, a crossbow does count as part of the bows and blades. So eventually we, what we'll do is we'll move over to using uh, bows and crossbows. If you guys have not seen the Alpha 19 series, um, I ended up doing multiple uh, of those in my inventory slot so that I can account for uh, being able to uh, switch over to another weapon soon instead of waiting for a reload. Um, all right, let's put this stuff back. Recog is going to be nice later. Uh, we're going to do medical bandage over the um, standard bandage. We're going to sell this. So let's take it with us. Um, and then the mod can go in there. Look at that. Rocking and rolling already. All right, it's almost 1,700. We got to rock and roll and get to the uh, next job. Chance to check these uh, boxes. We want to find um, that's needle and thread. I don't know which number. But uh, the only needle and thread book right now that's important is the double pocket mod needle and thread book. And we're looks like we're going to have a lot of mailboxes to check over time here. Um, we do want to be careful, though, which POIs we run through. If there's a dog, that can uh, end this series real quick. There's a bunny rabbit. We don't hurt the bunnies. We get good bunny karma that way. Don't hurt the bunnies. Uh, okay, so well, that's a book we already know. We're going to start selling the ones we've already read so that we can uh, get extra um, extra dukes that way. Oh, look at that. Arrow Rest mod. The game knows. It it knows I'm going to be doing bows and blades. I, I, I just I feel it. I, I got a feeling, Mario. Look at that. We're already rocking and rolling there. Um, is this one with a cement mixer, though? I don't think so get that okay yeah we got to finish this up lights getting dark and we don't have a helmet light mod now this is another find supplies so let's go ahead and find those supplies now it does say it's down below us so we'll uh clear this out first oh i did hear oh there we go it's like i did hear a zombie snore uh-oh don't miss Aim small, miss small. Right. <laughs> Name the movie. Aim small, miss small. Where's that movie quote come from? Ow! My goodness. And there's the satchel. Okay, rock and roll. So we technically could leave. But I think we have enough time to finish this POI. So let's do it. Okay, make sure we're reloaded. Figure if we just make some noise, we'll go ahead and pull the zombies out of the woodwork. <laughs> er, er, early days, I'm not as worried. Um, now, unless we, if we go into a POI that's not part of our, oh wait, did I see a wrench already? Hey, look at that, we got a wrench already. Uh, if we go into a POI that's higher level that um, I do too soon, then okay, I might see a feral in there and we 
we might get into trouble that way. I'm not as good as, at Feral's early game as other people. I don't know why I have such a, a struggle with him. Okay. Get the bleed going on him. And there we go. And there we go. Don't lose your head. Remember, a zombie cannot bite you if it doesn't have a head. Merchandise now available. <laughs> oh, another crawler outside somewhere, but we're not going to worry about him. Eggs and bakey. And let's try. Oh, yeah, he's got the bleed. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. That's what you want. You want to get those headshots. Uh, what are we down to? Five arrows, including the one in my inventory. Uh, helmet light. Mo no, that's weapon flashlight. Gosh darn it. Uh, but we got a pipe pistol that we're going to sell. Hey, we already got a sewing kit. Now, hopefully we don't get any lacerations, so we don't have to use it. Oh, there's a safe there. Um, I got the lock picks. I'm going to take the shot. We're going to try it. Oh. No. Yes, third time's the charm. Okay, so we still got one lock pick. All right, so that's a water filled purifier mod too. So if we really needed to, if we get a high enough level helmet, we know that we can uh, use that uh, bookcase. All right, and that's it. Nothing huge in this this place, which is fine. We, we don't need anything huge. Uh, you still still trying to break in? Oh, you made it past those spikes, huh? Oh, fella. All right. And we already checked that. All right. So we leveled up. Um, let's go ahead and go. Um, since we have the bone knife that's already level three, let's go archery. Um, yeah, I was going to spell archery. Uh, primitive bow level three. Okay. Modify. Modify. There we go. So now we have level three items. The next point we'll put in two knives so that at the very, uh, let's not go this way. Let's just not risk it. It is not a biscuit in which we want to risk it. <laughs> it's horrible. Oh, wait. Is there usually something over in here too? I can't remember. Do you suffer from long-term memory loss? I can't remember. Okay, so there's some stuff in here, but I'm not as worried about it. Let's uh, head back to the trader this way. DR, DR. Untouched mailbox. Didn't... Is this part of the same POI? Oh, wait. Did I not... Uh, I didn't go back to do the, the stuff I already did, which includes... Yeah. It includes more stuff to sell. <laughs> okay, so that's not part of the POI. We'll ignore those zombies. Let's uh, be careful and not cut through too much of this. Yeah, we're alerting more zombies. Shame on me. But can they catch up? Lead me to salvation, bunny rabbit. Lead me to salvation. We'll, we'll not have our knife out when we're following behind the bunny rabbit. <laughs> Uh, let's see, we get more books that we already know. I thought I'd take a slight detour to see if we can get some mailboxes here. Again, we got to make sure not aggro some zombie dog or whatever, but I think if we do this just right, we won't have to worry about it. Uh, let's see, Spear Hunter, we're going to go ahead and read them, but uh, obviously we're not doing spears, so it's not that big of a deal. I think there might be a zombie dog on this property sometimes. We'll have to be careful there. Uh, let's get this mailbox and then we'll get to the trader. We're running out of time. Spear hunter, read it. Don't care. Don't care what it is, but read it. Do not enter. Oh, here I go entering. Look at that. Go through the back side of this one and there's another mailbox to check. Oh, goodness. We're going to finish the spear hunter books and it's the one series we don't want. Looking for something. Surprise, surprise. Uh, well, it looks like we're just going to look for something special that we could sell right back to you, bud. Uh, all right, so sell, sell. Uh, we're going to keep the jacket for now. We'll keep the shirt for now. 
Um, yep, sell the books that we already have. Ammo. It, it, again, this is going to be tough to, to rearrange my brain. Uh, is trying to sell ammo and things that I don't need. Um, yeah, definitely those. Thank do God you're done browsing. Oh, hush. Next time I'll charge you for that. Oh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> you got to charge me for browsing. Huh? Uh, what do we got here? Um, I think we'll start off tomorrow with a, a buried supplies just to kind of get started on those. Perfect. Okay. And let's go ahead and get a red tea. Get this can of dog food for later. Um, we're sitting on 2400 Dukes. I'm going to go ahead and get the yucca juice. I just uh, I just want to make sure we're, we're staying hydrated. This character, if it gets dehydrated and we're worrying early game about using uh, melee and bows that uses up stamina quick, then uh, you know we we want to avoid that as soon as po or as much as possible. Okay, so let's get settled back up in the uh, temporary base for tonight, and we'll find something maybe tomorrow for a permanent base in this city. Right, already had the ladder pieces. Might as well make use of them. It's not the most efficient because, again, we're over here, I guess. But uh, <laughs> it gets me up here. And we'll, we'll take those down and keep them for uh, for later. Um, all right. So we have Kane's row locking mod on as well. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm doing that out loud because I know in my mind uh, on uh, some other games I've got... Uh, <laughs> I've got the row, the row uh, bigger backpack things going on or whatever, and and, and yeah. So we just want to uh, make sure we don't get caught off guard with that. Um, let's put on the clothes scrap. Put that on, uh, but we still we don't have uh, a helmet. You can't put a yeah. It's only cosmetic. You can only put color in there. So whew, well, that's bright. Um, I will happily sacrifice that. So that we're not. Oh God, that's even brighter. <laughs> um, we will sacrifice the blue dye and the goth pants in order to uh, <laughs> mitigate that. Holy cow! Much, much better. No, but trade doors will be closing soon. All right, and yeah, we'll go ahead and give ourselves some light for the night. Uh, let's make a campfire. So I just realized too that we did not find any um, uh, what do you call it uh, cooking pots. That's unfortunate. Good chance that the the houses we hit tomorrow will have that. Uh, let's go ahead and eat the cat chow. That's going to be a uh, <laughs> the character's eating it. I'm not eating it in real life, so uh, that's okay. Uh, we do have some nails. We can make three extra big storage boxes, but. This isn't going to be my permanent home, so I don't want to make those yet. Not until we find our, our, our perma home. Oh, wait. I did have another blue die. When did that happen? Well, let's just do this then. Complete. Uh, um. Hey, we even shop at the same store. Look, our motto. <laughs> uh, name that movie. So two movie references uh, today. See if you guys can guess them. Uh, there's the creepy music time. It is now officially nighttime. Let's move these over to blocks. We're gonna go ahead and try to keep quiet. I just tried to turn my helmet light mod or my helmet light off. I don't have a helmet light. Um, what is the status of the bone knife? Um, that's one problem about getting into the uh, storage boxes. It makes a sound. So make sure that's repaired so we can start uh, the next day fresh. And that'll do it. All right, so that'll do it for day one of Bows, Blades, and Bombs. I want to thank you all for coming out here. If you are new to my channel, please do me a favor. Uh, it is, after all, my birthday today. Uh, so if you guys want to uh, wish me a happy birthday and get me something, the best thing you can get to me right now is a subscribe subscription to the channel and a follow if you guys have not uh, followed it uh, or thumbs up. Whew. Trying to differentiate Twitch and YouTube. That's always the rough part. If you guys wouldn't mind giving me a subscription here, we're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, and we'll see if we can hit that uh, uh, at least by uh, um, by the middle of the year here, 2023. Uh, but I really appreciate it. For my birthday, that would be the most excellent thing I could get from you. I certainly appreciate that love and support. And, uh, <laughs> oh, man. 
Uh, I'm looking forward to day two already. So thanks again, everybody, for stopping on by. As always, we'll see you on the next adventure. All right, bye-bye.